I'm here with the co-writers and co-directors of Inheritance. Um, do y'all want to introduce yourselves? Sure. I'm Jessica Kay. I'm Laura Davis. Awesome. And then um, this story is so beautiful. And can y'all just elaborate more on what what the film's about and why it's uh, so important to be told? Because I know it's very special to you both. It is. <laughs> we put a lot of time of our lives yeah. to it. Um, this one is about a woman who returns to Belize where she grew up. She brings her lover and she's going back for her father's 70th birthday. Only she's estranged from that father. It's played by this woman right here. <laughs> um, as soon as she lands, she finds out that her father has died. So what was supposed to be a big reunion turns into a Belizean wake, which is an all-night affair where you stay up with the body with singing and dancing. And this past that she's been avoiding reveals itself throughout that night. And it's, uh, it's a story about how um, trauma, if unexamined, can come back to haunt you. And I think that's uh, the point of focus for us as filmmakers mm -hmm. and why we feel it's really important that this story be told. Awesome. Definitely. And then how has it been, how's it been like to co-write and co-direct with each other? You know, those are both pretty big roles to share and to share them both with the same person. I would say, so there's many answers because it's a yeah. very complex and beautiful and complicated mm -hmm. relationship, but I would say that um, we're both independent writer-directors mm -hmm. and we came together and I think formed a unique vision together that was intense and challenging and beautiful and we both grew a lot and I think created a really unique film. I think she put it beautifully. Yeah. <laughs> and then how has it been like for you to uh, direct, write, and then also act in the film? Well actually that it was really exciting. Mm -hmm. It's funny because it's the first time I've thought about it that way because when I was writing and and creating the vision for the film like I was definitely just in that mode and then what ended up happening is creating like being so involved in that process once it came time to act it was all there for me yeah and then I also like I didn't do it alone I mean Laura is an incredibly talented filmmaker and I was working in collaboration with her and and so it was it was like a double positive mm -hmm. like I got to have all of this prep creating a world writing the world creating the character going deep with Laura in the investigation of the character beforehand as a writer director and then getting to step into that and having like this rock star director have my back so awesome so how, yeah so how did set work um with you both directing and then if you're acting in a scene did you just step up or did you just in between takes what was it like well, we can we'll pee, we can pee back off each yeah. other. Yeah. <laughs> but what what ended up happening is, first of all, we had like no time mm -hmm. because we didn't have we had no time, and so, <laughs> so things things had to move quickly. And so what we decided is for for the most part, except for scenes that I wasn't in, mm -hmm. Laura was would be the one you know behind the camera, and sometimes I could you know come around and look. Gotcha. Um, and and I kind of attended to like in bigger group scenes mm -hmm. and um, in like attention to the script and making sure that was going in line and the story was, was moving in the direction that it should knowing what we had shot. Mm -hmm. But I would say that that's, that that's how it worked. Yeah, and I guess I just want to add on that um, the, the part of Mara is a very deep and yeah. rich and complicated part. And Jess and I talked about this a lot in advance and wanted to try as much as possible to give her space for the sanctity of that part and it you know in a low budget shoot it's kind of impossible to do that and I think that's sort of the discussions we had was advance was to how to preserve the vision that we had cultivated together as well as the needs and the space that she might need for that. Gotcha. That's awesome and then um, I love the female empowerment in this film and just how many uh, female figures are just leading it I feel like the direction that our industry is starting to veer towards, and I'm glad that films like this are happening. So, Thank you. what has that been like? Well, that's Smelling. actually interesting, um, and I'm. It's kind of fun that you brought it up because mm -hmm. it's been awesome to be able to, to have a film recognized that has a lot of you know females behind the camera and in front of the camera. But we did when we were creating it. There was a lot of. Uh, not resistance, but like questioning about is she likable enough? This main character, will we like her? And uh, we, you know, I don't know that that question would have been asked in that same way had it been a, a male protagonist. Yeah. And so it was a really 
it was it was helpful in that we had to really refine that and really make sure that she could be relatable while also being challenging. But it, it, it was interesting coming up against that in the creative process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and sorry, I just want to give like more direct shout out to Jess, but she never shied away from any of the challenging material. And I really like, no, but I think that's rare and really yeah. courageous because the, I mean, the way that women and women, especially actor, like female, like actresses, the way that you can be judged is so different than the way men can be judged. And I think to be able to approach a complicated role like that is like infinitely brave. So, mm -hmm. Thank you. I think the film brings up a great uh, discussion about that. So I'm glad that we have it for that reason alone. Well, thank you also for noticing because yeah. I think one thing that we're also trying to be in dialogue with is like, how can this be a discussion we're all having, men and women alike, mm -hmm. and how can we approach the questions differently? And then, uh, Lara, this is your, you're not, you're no stranger to Austin. Um, so you went to UT, um, mm -hmm. that's where I go. And then can you just, how does it feel to be back in South by for Austin? I mean, incredible. Yeah. Like, I feel like there's just been so much love from, like, the people I've known in Austin, people at Michener, the people at UT that we're, I mean, we're, hopefully everybody on my team is benefiting from it, but mm -hmm. they're really grateful. And I have family here, so it's nice that they can help <laughs> give the push. My dad is inviting people from his bridge club to oh, come yeah. to film. Oh, yeah. I know. I'm in a group chat with um, a lot of my film friends at UT. Oh, cool. And we were talking about y'all's film this morning, actually. Oh, great. Um, and so if you could say anything to all the UT film students that are watching right now, what would it be? Honestly, it's, a, it's very simple. It's just keep making movies. Yeah. And keep making movies. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. And I think that there's an incredibly supportive film community in Austin that is singular mm -hmm. and I think there's an openness and in a way it's because you can make things here that will still live in many parts of the world but you don't necessarily have all the pressure yeah that there's a different way you can experiment and I think the more people experiment the more we're gonna have interesting work in the world so can I add something yeah even for sure go UT? yes <laughs> of course I would just say um like make things that are true to you that are really from who you are and that you believe in because regardless of where they go which most likely they will find more of an audience because they will be more unique and more authentic the experience of making them will be will be meaningful and moving to you no matter where they go no matter what happens with them so that would be my I love that. My two yes. cents. Well, I would love that. I would say also if you're still figuring out who you are still you can discover who you are in making them. Yeah. Awesome. I think that's great advice. Thank y'all. Um, so what's next for the film? Well, you tell us. I know. <laughs> well, it's exciting yeah. because it so far, knock on all kinds of whatever, would. Um, thank you. <laughs> We've been, it's been being received really well. Yeah, I saw that. And so we're hoping that that helps push it into for a wider audience for more festivals and, and distribution so that, so that everybody can see it. Mm. Awesome. Well, thank y'all so much for coming out. Be sure to check it out. Um, great film. Support female writers and directors. And just, you know, good filmmakers. And just good filmmakers. <laughs> you can like the film on Facebook. Yeah. Um, cool. We'll post a link to it. Awesome. 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 Thank y'all. Thank so much. Thank, thank you. you.